Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Wa'an, hao to bujen, ni hao. Time for another fun-filled episode of How To Food. I'm your gracious host, Turtle Sage. And today we're going to discuss the maxim of Kung Fu. What does it mean, hard work over time? Right? Hard work over time that makes supreme skill. That is Kung Fu. And this isn't just fighting. This is everything. Right? So... What happens a lot, and I've noticed this when teaching, is that a lot of folks don't want to do, it's not for everybody, I should say this, it's like not everybody is going to have the work ethic of say a Bruce Lee or a Jet Li or any of the greats, you know, an Ip Man or a Hoyan Jia. Or, or Muhammad Ali, or Mike Tyson, or, or Manny Pacquiao, or Floyd Mayweather, right? It, it comes with the territory. It's not for everybody. So that, what, that said, though, it's like you, you, you got folks coming in like, oh, they look at me do a sword form or some stick fighting or some nunchucks or one inch. Ones. Oh, you teach me how to do that? I'm like, okay. Let's start with the fundamentals. Let's do your horse stance. Let's do standing meditation. Let's do silk reeling, etc. They don't want to do that, right? They think in three easy lessons they are going to become the avatar. I mean, and they weren't paying attention to the avatar. And I, and you know what? This is America. I get it. It's it's we live in the world of instant gratification, microwave. Uh, I could just turn on uh, tech in it and, and use the video games to be badass, right? Wrong. I think popular media does a disservice to, well, everything, but especially the realm of martial arts. You know, it, it, it's it's one of those things that like, okay, they have this term, the Mary Sue or the Gary Sue. You just come in and you're just excellent at everything. No, you're going to take L's. This is why I appreciate most, uh, shonen anime, a good shonen anime. Like, okay, for, for my DBZ fans, you know, Goku, Son Goku was born with a power level of two, right? That, like, he had to work to get to Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan God, or whatever, right? Okay. Shaolin Temple. Old Jet Li. Jet Li's first movie. One of my favorite lines in that movie is that Jet Li's like, oh, what am I going to learn to fight? This is boring. I, you know, I'm doing this kick, horse stance, punch, punch, right? I, why am I doing this? It's like, stomp, stomp. When am I going to learn to, like, throw hands? Uh... And the, and, the and, and his teacher, his Sifu, was like, do not fear bitterness, only practice Kung Fu. Basically, he said, do work. Right? Do work. And, you know, it's one of those maxims. You know how many times I put up training videos to show, hopefully show you what you can become or the things that I'm working on. That, like, I look at people like my Sifus, right? Maybe I can get on their level, right? So before I before I can get to that, I have to work out my fundamentals. If I don't work out my fundamentals and I fight somebody who does, I'm going to get wrecked. Prime example. The other day I was watching uh, a UFC fight between Amanda Nunez and Chris Cyborg. Now, Amanda Nunez is this chick from Brazil who, I swear to God, this woman has adamantium in her gloves, and she got shoulders like me, so I was like, okay, yeah, you want to knock somebody out, you knocking them the F out, no questions asked. Chris Cyborg, similar origin story from Brazil, and she's used to manhandling chicks, and she thought she could do the same to... Chris Cyborg, so she come in swinging with reckless abandon. Her boxing, in my opinion, was kind of subpar that fight. She had she didn't have the in and out, the sticking and the moving, sidestepping. She didn't have any of that. She had one direction forward. She blocked Amanda Nunez's 
10 ton fists with her face. <laughs> it just kept walking into it. No, it, it, to me, like, oh, I'm, if I'm taking damage, no, I, I block and, and, and get out, get out, get in, get out and try to make them run into my heads. Maybe I can counter somewhere. You know, I was, it, it, and eventually it only took a few seconds and I mean, Amanda Nunez ended Chris Cyborg in less than a minute. Did the same thing to Ronda Rousey because none of them worked on their boxing fundamentals. And I was, you know, I was on Instagram. I, I, I watch a lot of martial arts videos on Instagram. And one of the this is boxing coach, he said he was teaching, had a guy throw, we're going to throw a thousand jabs. And he said, we're going to throw the basic jab, then the slip jab, then the roll jab, uh, you name it. Um, uh, he'd do this and then jab, right? Then the block jab. And he would do that, eat 200 each, but then it would, it, it would add a, a, up to like five or 1,000. And he said, drillers make killers. And he's absolutely right. I can fight somebody and just, just look, I, I look for patterns and what they, and how they fight. I, I know what they drill, Right. Me, if you're fighting me once, you know not to let me kick you. You know, been doing my Jong Law horn for all these years. I have open hip joints, even all, even at almost being in my late thirties, I could still kick over my head without a warm up stretch. But that's because I had a good teacher who was constantly yelling at me to get lower in your stances. Uh, you must take the pain. The pain is good for you. You know, shout out to Master Lee. So, thing, things like that, right? And I picked I picked up my Jungle Law Horning. I start really drilling it a lot more. Why? Well, one, it burns calories. But two, you know, it's it's always good to work on your fundamentals, no matter what it is, Right? Just because my kicks are good doesn't mean they'll always be good. It's a perishable skill. And so you don't rise to what you think you know. You fall to your training. And because of that, oh, well, I noticed new things. So I noticed how to better throw Fajin just from doing the those stance exercises, from moving from stand, horse stance to bow stance, Right. I knew how to better get the corkscrew motion. And it took me, it, 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 it was one of those realizations. It was like a, um, a breakthrough that I made. And this breakthrough wouldn't have happened had I have not been working on my fine motor skills from over a decade of Taiji. Would you believe it? It, it, well, I maybe would have gotten it under Master Lee, but it, like, okay, I still had to keep going. It's going to take time. It took me nearly 10 years to throw a one inch punch and, and you know, make make somebody something like a giant heavy bag swing real, real with just a jab. It, it took me that much. It took me over a decade to be able to really get in the clinch and apply my Tai Chi. Well, I had to learn. Uh, not only do push hands a lot, but also I had to learn ninjutsu. I had to learn how to grapple. Oh, when someone's energy shifts a certain way, I'm not just going to swell up on them and try to like overpower them. No, I'm making shapes. This is what Bruce Lee meant by being water. I had to drill those fundamentals with my Dantian. I learned to be soft, learn to relax, do the standing meditation. I had to drill all of that. And it took me over a decade of near constant combat getting my butt kicked yeah it sucks i know but don't get discouraged because when you do actually develop it there's a lot of people who don't develop it like a chris cyborg he just i'm just gonna run at you and no 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 i'm gonna fine all right i'm gonna stick and move and and since you don't have head movement because you, you didn't drill that you're gonna take an l and and that's what it's all about so i had a friend right well i have a friend I actually have friends. I'm shocked. No, uh, he wanted me to 
help him get flexible because he knows how flexible I was. So I taught him the fundamentals of my John Lawhorn Gung Fu, right? Had him moving from stance to stance. Yeah, it was tiring at first, but he has a lot of heart. He put in work. He was already looking that much better. So again, I say this to everyone. Everyone can do it, but not everybody can do it. You got it. It's one thing to have natural physical ability, but it's also another thing to have work ethic and and heart to continue when it's tough, right? Does that bring bring up another another uh, character I absolutely adore? My favorite character in Star Wars, Obi Wan Kenobi. Obi Wan Kenobi, for those of you who don't know, is the master of Anakin and Luke Skywalker, and. He fought in the Clone Wars as a Jedi Knight. And before he became a knight and, and or a Jedi Master, even, he was kind of a scrub. Barely that he his, his midi chlorine kind of his power level was nothing. He was barely considered force sensitive. He was brash, aggressive. You know, his philosophy was crap. And he barely got picked to be a Padawan under one of the eminent Jedi Masters at the temple. It took him really humbling himself and showing out for Master Qui-Gon Jinn to take him on. And so he continued that maxim even after his master's death. Master Tsurisu, he constantly drilled himself because he knew he had to he had a lot of catching up to do because he wasn't that powerful. So he he trained where he was weak. He drilled it. This is where that maximum of hard work over time makes a supreme skill comes in. And Star Wars did that beautifully with him. They kind of lost their way with a lot of other stuff, but I digress. He became, not only did he master the, the style of Sarisu, which is the third style of lightsaber combat. It is a style of defense. He became the master of it. Like when you think Sarisu, you think Obi-Wan Kenobi. This man in... You know, the Geonosis, the Battle of Geonosis in the arena where they're getting mobbed by all the droids. He's just walking through, blocking laser beams. Like, so if you try to mob him with laser blasts, it, it's, it's, he's got a, he's basically got a deflector shield in his lightsaber. It didn't matter if you were even dueling him, unless you were like uh, on Yoda's level, you, you really ain't going to be able to beat him. It's, it, like, even, General Grievous had four lightsabers, couldn't catch him. Anakin Skywalker, at full power, when he turned to the dark side, could not beat him in lightsaber to lightsaber combat. He couldn't even beat him with the Force because he was so mentally unstable, he couldn't call upon that energy, and his technique got sloppy. And so what I'm saying is you drill it to the point where your technique never gets sloppy. This takes time. This takes years. Look, I got gold medals, but man, have I taken some L's in my lifetime. We went over that last week. But there is an upside to it. Eventually, I start winning. This is because I obey that maxim. Hard work over time makes a supreme skill. And even then, even now, there's plateaus that I'm still trying to get get up over, right? So I can do one inch punch with, with a jab. Well, I want to be able to do it with fingertips and maybe, uh, you know, do a little nedge action, like paralyze you. Now, I don't know, maybe not paralyze you, but okay, maybe I want to do it with my shoulder. Maybe I want to do it with my chest or my stomach. Or, 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 or like, uh, like, like it, it, with any, maybe not even touch. I don't know if that's even possible, but still, there's always a new level to reach. And with that said, do not get discouraged. Train hard. Be water, my friends. Yeah, you're probably not going to become a Shaolin master on the first day. And even if you did, you, you wouldn't appreciate it if that was the case. So with that said, be water, my friends, train hard, get stronger. And if you like what you saw, like, share, and subscribe. And with that said, Turtle Sage signing off. Leave a comment. And with that said, good night.